What is up, peoples? Sorry, I've been gone for a long time, but you know what? I missed you, and now I'm going to do a video, and I'm in lovely Hollywood, California's. So here are some new jokes. Here we go. Are you ready? I got my blue. I forgot my do. Uh, I was drinking a can of Mountain Dew today, and on the back of the can, it says, if you have any questions or comments, because why wouldn't you? I can think of 50 right off of the top of my head. Call 1-800-MOUNTAIN-DEW. First of all, whose life is so barren and empty, they are sitting down, picking up the phone, and calling 1-800-MOUNTAIN-DEW with a question or a comment. They should patch all those calls directly to the suicide hotline. It's like, thanks for calling Mountain Dew. Press 1 if you have a question. Press 2 if you have a gun in your mouth. So I'm 38 years old. I live in Hollywood. Everyone, I, I'm vain. I admit it. No one ever admits they're vain and they're, they're superficial to a degree and they want to look good. I admit it. Whatever. Judge me if you want. I'm only human. Of course, you always want to look as good as you can, right? So I decided, I thought about getting Botox. This was a year ago. And I walked by this store and it said, first time Botox customers, $5 a unit. And I was like, $5 a unit? I can afford that. I walk in, they take one look at me. They're like, you're going to need 300 units. 300 units? First of all, what's the max? Like 300 units? Is that like the most they can legally put in your face before they poison you? 300 units, that's like $1,500. I don't have that kind of money. They're like, you'll look 10 years younger. I can't afford to look that young. How much to look six months younger? Let's just roll back the clocks to Halloween. I want my face to be a throwback Thursday. I asked them what I could get for $100. They're like, we can do half of your forehead. Uh, won't that be kind of noticeable? So half of my forehead silky smooth. The other half looks like a pair of shorts you pulled out of the dryer too soon. I'm on a Tinder date like this. So, where are you from? She's like, are you okay? <laughs> Am I okay? Have you seen this half of my forehead? I think I'm doing all right. I gotta stop watching these uh, Netflix documentaries. I saw one about the witness relocation program. Like, if you see a murder and they put you in the program, for the rest of your life, the government pays for your rent, your car, your spending money, and your food. Ever since I saw that documentary, every day I've been trying to see someone get killed. If I see a couple arguing in the Chili's parking lot, I run up. I see you motherfuckers. Like, what are you doing? Trying to move out of my parents' house. My friend drove me home the other day. He drives a Tesla. The car can drive itself. He presses a button, takes his feet off the pedals, his hands off the wheel, and the car drives itself. I'm serious. Dude, I want to get a Tesla just so I can do Uber from the comfort of my own home. Customers are calling me. Where are you? I'm in bed watching Hulu. But the car should be on its way. I told it to get you. Uber would call me. Eric, you got a two-star rating. I'm like, what? Hey, I wasn't even in the fucking car. I can't be held responsible for what that car does. It's just a bad seed. I tell you what, give me the tip, and I ain't giving that car shit. By the way, why are we still going to college? Why are we spending four years of our life and at least 60 grand to learn how to do a job? Just Google that shit. Watch a YouTube tutorial. Watch a TED Talk. You can learn how to do any job. Go to an interview. Do you have any experience? Dude, I have Alexa. What do you need me to know? I can be a doctor. I got WebMD. I'm like, so what's going on? Well, I have a lot of anxiety. I'm not surprised. It says here you could have one of 65,000 diseases. You might die before you hit the elevator. I was gonna need to get paid 
in Bitcoin right now. I'm so bad at dating too. I just learned a new dating term called ghosting. My friend's like, this girl ghosted me. I'm like, what's that? That's when someone, you know, stops answering your messages, blows you off, and pretty much vanishes from your life like a ghost. I'm like, first of all, that term makes no sense. Ghosts don't ignore you. They make noises, they move furniture, they knock paintings off the walls. Ghosts want you to know they're there. They should call that term Bigfooting. Because you see Bigfoot once, and then he vanishes forever. No one sees Bigfoot twice. You never see someone on TV like, if I see Bigfoot one more fucking time, honestly, he's getting on my nerves. I mean, come on. Why do these Tinder girls keep Bigfooting me? What am I doing wrong? I'm starting to think half of them are fake. Eric, how are things going with Lisa? She Bigfooted me. All I have is one blurry picture of her ass. People don't even think I really saw her. They think the whole thing a hoax. Can you imagine if a girl really did ghost you? That'd be more scary than actually having a real ghost. You wake up in the middle of the night, Denise is just standing at the edge of your bed. Please let that be a demon. You come out of the shower, and on the mirror and the steam is just written Bumble. You go downstairs, the paintings are knocked off the walls. You're like, I hope this place is haunted. I swear to God. You call like a psychic exorcist lady. She comes over. She's like, I don't feel any spirits. But there's a strong presence of a crazy breathing bitch. 